nation, sat realities, candidly, but honestly, with the hope that the states and international organizations are going to consider or readjust their policies and actions with a view of upholding real hope for a better future. In this effort, in this struggle, we must ensure the cooperation of all, but more so of the states and the peoples that are the victims, those suffering from phenomena such as the primacy of expansionist interest of a state against the territorial integrity, peace and prosperity of other countries and peoples. The investments and promotion of the military industry and infrastructure through fomentation of conflict in order to secure their own profitability. The passive observance of violations of international law, such as the annexation of uh, territories, fueling separatism and civil wars, in order not to poison relations and common interest between friendly countries. Financing and promoting of terrorists by some states in order to impose religion fundamentalism. While more than 20 million people in northeastern Nigeria, South Sudan, Yemen, and Somalia face famine and are in need of urgent assistance, whereas more than 820 million people, including 155 million children, suffer from chronic malnutrition, there are countries in which immense quantities of animal and plant products are destroyed for the sake of narrow and blind economic and commercial considerations. While child mortality and life-threatening diseases, persevere and health services provided are below acceptable levels, we continue to face inflexible policies and practices emasculating competent authorities for providing the necessary medical care. Instead of facing the root causes leading to massive migratory flows of millions of peoples, we contend ourselves in setting up immigration detention centers. While we adopt the Paris Agreement to address the global challenge of climate change, specific interests hinder either the design of the implementation of domestic policies, which would deliver on our pledge and commitments. Distinguished friends, all the above, in addition to the inability to effectively implement the resolutions of the UN, have led to unprecedented crisis and have resulted in a lack of credibility, trust, and even legitimacy of our decisions bringing about forcible displacement of millions of peoples, hunger and distress which intensify migration flows, create demographic changes, and exert huge economic and social pressures to all countries or regions affected. Human and drug trafficking, millions of deaths, destruction of cultural heritage. Mr. President,